All right, guys, check it out. Fly tech. This is the way your blades should look. They should mirror one another. If they don't look like this, you probably have them on wrong. I had mine on wrong. Um, and we kind of did front flips and back flips. This was the only blade that I did not change because, uh, I mean, there's a slight ding right there. But the other ones were pretty chopped up. So, let's hope this works right. And hopefully uh, we, we can get on with our review here. So, again, to turn this on, we are going to hold for three seconds till we hear chiming. We got some chiming. We are going to flip this up. I'm gonna turn this on. Should hear some chiming. Hmm. That should have beeped and this should have connected to that. Let's see. Oh, for some reason, uh, that did not connect to that. Let's try again. Hmm. Come on, man. Um, so we're going to try this procedure all over again. Turn this off. Maybe we'll actually turn the transmitter on first. We'll turn this on. There. Okay. So the the instructions actually said to do it the way I did it before, but obviously this way it definitely worked. So we're connected here. Maybe this is our battery power. I don't know. Um, the blinking right now. Uh, that's GPS. We're locked on to GPS now. It stopped. We want to go like that. This is going to be our dance time. So we are going to go one, two, three. We'll do one more for safe measure. And we are going to put it up and we're going to go one, two, Three and four, and we are steady. We should be good to go. I just want to show you guys this camera here. Look, you should be able to see in there. This is a pretty darn good camera. And there's an SD card over there. You can do playback. It'll record on here. SD card in here, so it's recording there. So let's hope this flies right and uh, we have the blades on right. And to record is this button. You long hold it. And you'll see a record up there. There we go. She's up. And GPS, she's kind of kind of doing a little hover circle there. She is staying in the general proximity. Let's go ahead and turn this around and get a good look at her. Get a good look at me <laughs> with the UTV behind me. Um, it's a good looking bird. And I don't know if this is, I think there's a follow me feature. I don't know that it's doing, it. holy, that is, that GPS is circling a little bit. Maybe close to the ground it was doing that. I don't know, uh, can't really see where it's locked on the satellites here. But uh, there's a nice image on this, really nice image on this. Like that image is clean guys, look at that. And this is not operating off of the controller's power. Um, it is actually operating off of, uh, off of its own power. There's a charge port in back. Those are bright LEDs, you can see me all the way down there, right there. Um, I'm trying to look for telemetry on here, um, which I'm not seeing, uh, GPS. There's all types of little buttons and whatnot down there so it does do a little bit of dance as you can see in here it, it's trying to grab I don't know how many satellites were held on to which for me that's not too much of a problem because if this is just gonna be a dope brushless uh, camera bird I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and put her up 
Yeah, I don't see any type of telemetry that's uh, telling me how high this is. But that's clean, guys. That is a clean picture. Clean FPV, too. We have all these antennas up here and whatnot. That is clean. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and pan around this way. Look at the small town. Bam. We'll look at the town over there. Look over there. Let's back back pedal just a little bit. Super clean. We're gonna go ahead and turn around this way. Have a nice sunset over there. Drop back pedal, maybe be able to see it. Um, this does have a bunch of features. Let's see. We're going to bring it over here. And we will stop recording. And actually, I see an arrow on here. A very vague arrow. I don't know if that's telling me, hey, the drone's that, that way. Let's see. Let's put it over here. Now, I don't know what that... Oh, okay. Maybe that arrow is saying tear off the plastic piece. So, I, I want to press this button. Or here. Let's, let's do this. I don't know what this is going to do. I don't know. All right, so I have a roller here. I'm not sure what the roller's for, but uh, that's over there. We're gonna press this button. I believe that might be following me. Let's see. Little guy, or maybe that's return home. I don't know, fixed point circling. I don't know. I don't know how to toggle through the features or here. Maybe down. Up. I don't know what down or up means here. Okay, now we're doing something. Uh-oh. No. Stop, stop, stop. Cancel. Cancel. Let's bring it back over here. I think I'm landing it. I think holding down lands it. Um, which I think I've canceled out of. So that's good to know. Um, or no, maybe it's still coming down. So good. Easy there, easy. All right, so if you hold down, it'll definitely do it. Um, cycle, I wonder what cycle does. So we are gonna go up. Is it gonna do an auto takeoff? Nope. Um, all right, so we are gonna get it back in the air. And it's showing, showing kind of like the Phantom where you have uh, bars on the back of your battery, which is also cool. Um, let's go through cycle. Hmm. It's definitely not what we're trying to do here. Cycle. So again, if the GPS on this isn't awesome by any means. It's a little grabby. Um, but uh, as far as a bird that you can definitely record with, this is probably going to be it. I'm really trying to, mode one and mode two is your hand modes. Um, pretty sure this has follow me. I don't know how to activate it. So uh, I think we are just going to get out of there and uh, start recording a little. We are recording, I believe. We are recording. And there's a Jeep over there, you guys can see. Don't want to get too close to it, don't want uh, too much interference or any interference whatsoever. I'm going to just bring it back towards myself. So this I'm definitely going to have to look into the instruction manual. As far as uh, flyability, I like the flyability of it. Um, if we could turn that GPS off, that'd be great, because again, it's... GPS definitely works, but it's a little wobbly, and I mean, we're not in the prime conditions. We have tons of clouds. It's not really clear or anything, but uh, definitely like that to work a little bit better. Um, right here. Maybe, let's see. Nope. I don't know what this little, we have one over here, too. Not quite sure what that's all about, or maybe that's screen resolution or something. I don't know, yo. Um, what if we just hit that button are we gonna stop recording yep we stopped recording so I don't know we're gonna we're gonna give this a fly J drone fly which is gonna be a little bit lagged Woo!
because of that GPS um, wanting to hold on to it. It's a nice quad, man. It really is. We're going to go ahead and turn around this way. Easy there, champ. Up. Whoa, nice, she came down hard. <laughs> Let's see where to go, right in there. I don't know why she came down so hard. Should be all right, came down in grass. So I think we were recording, or maybe not. I don't know why she came down so hard. Guess maybe she can't handle some uh, tight banking. <laughs> So maybe we'll uh, recalibrate. We're gonna try to recalibrate the gyroscope here. Still got plenty of battery life. Some guy out on a motorcycle, that's crazy. Never seen nobody out here on a motorcycle. That's nuts, man. All right, so we had a diver. We pressed down and she went down. <laughs> um, so here, we we're gonna try maybe recalibrate, could we calibrate the gyroscope? Bam, that should be gy gyroscope calibration. Should be good to go. Um, easy there. All right, hold on. We're gonna bring her back down. This is way too crazy, or maybe Maybe it's the freaking mode that I have it in. I do have it in a mode. Um, it's showing on the bottom right. So let's go over here. And again, to me, this quad seems good. We just need to learn how to fly it. Easy. Shut off. Not sure how to shut the motors off. There, okay, hold down, uh, motors will shut off. So as you can see here, I have a, a pinpoint and circle mark on it, and it's kind of flying a little bit weird. So all right, now we're out of that. Let's see if it'll fly a little bit better. Yeah, it's not all freaking wobbles and whatnot. So I don't know what that pinpoint is, uh, and that's probably why it did a nosedive, because we are doing exactly what we were over there. And I could see the GPS grabbing this, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, yeah, we need to get this bird out of GPS. Uh, hopefully there's a feature we could get out of GPS because look at that grab it, man. It's just grabbing it audaciously. We are blinking though, so we are gonna bring this down. Um, okay, bird, I'm not signing off on it. It seems to have a lot of technology that I don't understand. Um, we aren't in any mode right now and you could see it Can do a little spinneroo, which we're gonna try to counter, and that's just the GPS really not grabbing tightly. I guess I don't know. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set this down. Oh my gosh! Easy there. Whoa! Don't chop the props. All right, we're holding down. Yeah, so hold down or shut it off, guys. I'm J Drone. This was the first look at this. Don't knock it yet, but I'm also not signing off on it yet. Um, seems like a decent brushless bird. If we could get this out of GPS, because I don't think GPS is really, really great on this, this could be awesome. Look, look at this camera, guys. This camera, I mean, you can see the UTV over here. Here, we'll, we'll put this, let's see, I don't know if it'll sit there. We'll put that right there. Look at this, dude. And it's, it's dark out, like, it's dark out. Um, look at this camera, <laughs> like clear, crystal clear, super clear cam, man. Um, that is a nice camera. So here, let's let's try this. Bam. And here, we'll click record. It is recording. Ha! <laughs> Bamzo. All right, guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm on there, I'm there and here, and we're everywhere, but that camera is crystal clear. That's probably one of the most impressive features on it. 
um, and also the fact that they decided to go with a built-in screen that you power on its own that's pretty impressive these uh, these antennas are pretty impressive the GPS on it however right now I'm not impressed with it unless I'm doing something wrong um, sorry guys I'm Jay Drone. We are going to head home and uh, get this on. And if you guys got any questions down below, and at some point we'll go live again. Flytech uh, GPS bird. Uh, take care, guys. Um, link link for this will be down below. Uh, this was a tester from RC Moment, and right now, again, I've spoke my piece about it. What I think about it, we need to fly it more. Uh, this drone needs to be a good flyer, and right now, it's it's a mediocre flyer with that GPS. We're gonna see if we could turn that off. Hopefully, uh, if we can't, maybe we'll see how to trim it out or properly calibrate it. I don't know. We'll see, guys. All right, take care, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna turn this off, and we are going to hold this. And it had two bars left, so maybe we had some more flight time. And bam, the drone holder right there. Let's put that right there. That won't go nowhere. We are strapping this in, though. Um, that way it doesn't uh, plop out or anything. Strap that in. That's strapped in. Got the bugs in there. All right, guys, take care and have a wonderful day.